Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial once again. So I have now posted a couple FPS tutorials for X-Plane 11 because personally I feel FPS is a very important aspect when it comes to realistic flight simulation. I've gone over a couple of the best Lua scripts and some tips on how to keep your drivers all new and updated. Although these are still very important aspects when it comes to your FPS, the main difference maker is your overall PC settings like the NVIDIA control panel or just your settings in general. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first tip is a pretty basic one, but it is still a huge difference maker. So to begin with, locate down to your search bar and now type in percent temp percent just like that and now click on the file folder now it's going to bring up all of your temporary files here so you guys need to delete these just simply click on that now it's going to bring up a warning now simply click on do this for all items and click on skip because these are the files that are still needed so it's going to delete all of the temporary files and leave the needed files still there so then you guys can close that out and make sure you guys clear out your recycling bin for this to actually work. And that is the first tip. Hey guys, so for the second tip, we will be type going down to the search bar yet again and typing in graphics settings. Just like that. Now it's going to bring you to this. Now first guys, all you guys need to do here is go down and click on browse. Now it's going to open up your folder here, all your files here, and now go to wherever your xplane.exe is located. So it is right here. So I'm going to click on xplane.exe and click on add. So guys, now click on options and make sure this is set here to high performance, not power saving nor system default. Make sure it is selected on high performance and then simply click on save just like that and guys that is tip number two okay guys so for the third tip we are going to be putting our power option onto ultimate performance so to do this first we have to make sure our windows version is compatible for this so simply locate down to the search bar yet again and type in winver just like that now run the command now it is going to open up this page that shows the version of windows you guys have so to run the ultimate performance you guys are going to need at least 1803 that version of windows now i have 1909 so i am good to go but if you guys have anything under 1803 you guys are going to need to get that updated for this to work now simply click on ok so now locate down to the windows button and simply right click just like that now go up to the windows powershell admin and click on yes so now it is going to open this page and you guys are going to need to type in a certain code now because it is so long and pretty confusing i have it exactly linked down below in the description for you guys so guys simply copy the link down below in the description the well the code down in this down in the description and simply paste this in by saying Control v just like that and now click on enter so now as you guys can see in parentheses it says ultimate performance so guys if it says that you guys can simply x this out just like that and now yet again locate down to the search bar here and type in control panel now guys go to system and security and go here to the little battery here and click on power options just like that and now click on show additional plans here and it's going to show ultimate performance right here and click on that now click on change plan settings and now you guys can put this to whatever you want so i'm going to put this all here on never save the changes and there you go guys we have it now on ultimate performance and make sure you guys click on that and guys that is the third tip okay guys so for the fourth tip we are going to optimize our nvidia control panel now guys if you are amd users you guys are not going to be able to do this step and it will not work so simply skip it and move on to the next step for it but for you nvidia graphics card users simply right click anywhere on the screen and now click on nvidia control panel just like that 
so guys now now that it is all loaded up now the 3d settings are the only ones that really affect your fps now all of the others are really only all within your preference here except for the resolution make sure it is at the highest resolution of your monitor possible for that one but that is pretty self-explanatory but for the 3d settings first we are going to go to adjust image settings with preview just like that and now make sure this is set to use the advanced 3d image settings or guys if you want to you can use your own preference emphasize and make sure it is at performance but i would recommend just using the advanced 3d settings because it is also on performance and there's really no difference between the two and then once you guys have done that simply click on apply just like that okay guys so for the next one here we are going to click on manage 3d settings just like that now this here is the most important page and these are a lot of settings here to fill out so guys simply pause your screen and copy all of my settings here these are the best ones for x-plane 11 fps wise and look wise so guys copy all of these in and pause the video okay guys so once you guys have gotten all of these in go down to the next one here and copy all of these in okay guys so once you guys have gotten that in go all the way down to here and copy all of these settings in okay guys once you have copied those settings in here are the very very last ones here at the bottom copy the very rest in here pause the video and copy those all in okay guys once you guys have copied all of these settings here in now you guys can simply click on apply in the bottom right hand corner and it is going to extremely improve your fps in x plane 11 so now for the last step here simply click on configure surround physics here and now make sure the processor here is set to your graphics card and mine is the geforce gtx 1060 here so i have that selected make sure it is your graphics card and make sure it is your best one because some people have two graphics cards so guys, once you have done that, that is going to conclude the fourth tip here. So that is the fourth tip, guys. Hey okay, guys, so for the fifth step here, we are going to be locating yet again to the bottom left here and simply typing in settings and go to that. Now click on system here and now go to notifications and actions and make sure this is put on off because guys while you guys are gaming all of these websites here that you have in windows are going to be randomly popping up and notifying you things and now you guys do not need these all of these apps running in the background while you are gaming because it is unnecessary lag so guys now for the next step here you're going to be simply locating to this show hidden icons here and now guys if you guys see any single apps here that are running in the background that you guys do not need running in the background simply make them stop doing that if you guys do not know what the app is do not make it stop running in the background so steel series engine 3 now i do not need that running in the background so i'm going to quickly right click that and click on exit c cleaner i do not need running in the background i'm going to simply click on exit and i am going to do this to all of the other apps that i do not want nor need running in the background so all of the others i am not sure really what they exactly are so i'm just gonna leave them all alone so they can do their thing okay guys so here is c cleaner again i will link this down below in the description now simply to begin with click on download the free version now it is going to bring you all the way down to this now again click on the free download and now yet again scroll all the way down and click on 
re-download yet again so guys now any minute it's going to be popping up here down below so guys once it is all ready just simply open the installer guys so guys mine is now up and ready so i'm going to open the installer here and simply minimize this screen now i'm going to simply click on yes guys just like that and now it is going to fully download here so guys just simply click on install and if it's going to ask you to upgrade just simply click on no thank you and now let it go fully install guys and now once it has installed here simply click on c cleaner just like that and now guys you can run through this and it is going to clear out a ton of extra files and stuff you guys do not need running on your computer so i'm going to start the health check here now i'm going to close my tab here because for this to work you need to do this so guys it is now checking my computer's health and is basically finding a bunch of unnecessary files and junk that is just sitting on my computer so guys it has now found some issues so guys i'm going to now click on make it better so guys it is now patching up my computer so guys, this is going to give me a lot more storage here. When I did this for the first time, I received an additional at least five gigabytes of extra junk that it was not needed. So guys, it is now moved 1.5 gigabytes of junk off of my computer. Okay guys, so X-Plane 11 has now loaded up and as you guys can see, I have quite good FPS. Please do note that I have a GTX 1060 and to be honest, that is not the best of graphics cards and to have the ability to still run at 40 to 50 FPS with max objects and high visual effects and texture quality on is really amazing for my graphics card and I cannot imagine what a better PC could do. But anyways, to wrap this video up, I just want to say that I am sorry for any over explaining or mess ups in my wording. This was a lot of information to show you guys and I did not really have the ability to perfect everything. But the, if this did help you, please go down and like the video and maybe even sub if you guys really want to. It would mean the world to me. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. And guys, most importantly, stay safe. Bye.